Hello folks and fans. Welcome to another edition of Now We're Piping with Dr. Rockwood. Um, today, I'd like to talk about moisture. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, moisture. Um, pipe tobacco humidity levels. Still enjoying a lovely bowl of GLP's Quiet Nights. Still in my go-to English pipe, coated on my flare. Lovely French pipe, lovely billiard. Only thing I'm not a huge fan of is this cascading fishtail. I much prefer the straight Dunhill, you know, trapezoid tapers than these He's like, you know what I mean? So, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's talk moisture. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's easy to quantify or to say for sure what the humidity should be in a humidor with a bunch of cigars in it, right? If you ask any cigar aficionado, they'll tell you that it's likely anywhere between 60 and 80% humidity, depending on the size of the humidor and how many sticks you have in there and what time of year it is. And if the humidor is placed in a specific feng shui pattern and you know, if the stars are aligned so that you can count the stars in Orion's dick and that they point straight down towards your whatever. And then the cigars are lined up with the axis. You see what I'm saying, right? There's a number, right? Between 60 and 80, Sorry about the Orion's belt joke. Um, there's a number though, between 60 and 80, we'll call it 70, we'll split the difference. Um, 70%, that's usually what lots of, or if not most cigar smokers will keep the humidity levels in their humidors. But things are a little bit different for us in the pipe community. Um, I, was, I was enjoying a cigar with my tobacconist and a few other of our friends. And the question came up, what moisture level are you aiming for with pipe tobacco? And I had no idea what to say. So for one, I don't know of any magic formula to determine the optimum humidity level in pipe tobacco. That is aside from the three fingered pinch in the canning jar practiced by all pipe smokers to see if your tobacco is either clumpy or tender dry, okay? Uh, second, some blends are better enjoyed at different moisture levels, let's face it, right? For example, Haunted Bookshop comes a little bit on the dry side because the blend tastes better when smoked a little bit drier. Um, and the blender has even said that, that's the reason for it. It comes dry for you to smoke it a little bit dry because the nuances in that blend perform better at that moisture level. And um, University Flake, for example, um, is, I find, a little bit better with a slight edge of moisture to it. It helps the sugars and the Virginias come through, I find. Right? University Flake being, you know, one of, one of my regular smokes, um, I do tend to find that it, it smokes a little bit better on the moist side. So I don't think it's as easy as throwing a Bovita pack in your mason jar of tobacco and calling it a day because pipe tobacco is a different beast altogether than cigar humidification. And, and of course, let's not forget the most important point to note in all of this is that some people enjoy tobaccos at different moisture levels, okay? It's not for anyone to say how somebody else should enjoy their tobacco. So please always remember that as long as your tobacco isn't clumping together like Play-Doh or crumbling into dust like dry birch bark when you pinch it, the onus is on you to figure out what works for you because ultimately the right way to smoke a pipe is your way to smoke a pipe. So with that, I'll kind of open it up to you. Um, I'm in no rush, you know, this video I'm sure will stay on YouTube forever, right? Um, 
But let me know what you think if you feel like it, and uh, let's start a discussion on this. I'd be curious to know if there are certain rules for certain blend types or certain um, strands of tobacco, you know, like do Virginias need to be at 80% and can, I don't know, Oriental stay at 60? Like, you know, I don't know about this. For me, I fall into the category of everyone else. Just, I've pinched it and I know the blends, I've smoked them enough to know that when I smoked it and it felt like that, it was too wet, so I should let it dry a little bit. Or if I pinched it, um, if I packed my, you know, if I pinched it and it was a bit dry, and then I packed my bowl and smoked it, and it was still a little bit too dry on the palate. Next time, I'll try to, you know, humidify uh, or rehydrate the tobacco. You know, in one of the many ways that we tend to do it. By the way, my favorite way to rehydrate tobacco is literally to just take out the tobacco that I'm gonna use. Cause I'm pretty scared about, I've, I've had mold grow on me in a mason jar before, um, even though I used distilled water and tried to, um, you know, rehumidify the dry tobacco, um, it still kind of went moldy on me. So I just take a little pinch of tobacco, I'll take what I need to smoke and I'll just sort of, or I'll pack my bowl and I'll let, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. Um, but I, I'll, or I'll like, or I'll, I'll blow through the button and I'll just kind of like blow my breath in through and try to moisturize the tobacco in the bowl. Like, you know, uh, it works for me every time. So anyway, that's my two cents on that. Let me know what you think. Um, because really I've been looking for an answer and I have not been able to find one. So with that, thanks very much. Hope you have a great, uh, a great rest of your winter, I guess. I'm sure I'll see you before then, though. Cheers.